check this out. So, Republican, which is why I say their pieces of garbage too. We see what Govern, Governor Abbott does. We can talk about Democrats all day long, but these little milk toast ass Republicans, um, they've been on the same shit. Republican Governor Phil Scott says Vermont schools will question kids about Thanksgiving plans. Let's continue on. Vermont Governor Phil Scott said Tuesday that school officials will question returning students about whether they attended gatherings with people outside of their household during Thanksgiving to determine if they need to quarantine over uh, coronavirus concerns. Unfortunately, we know some will still get together and schools uh, have asked for help. The Republican governor tweeted, the Vermont Agency of Education, that sounds terrifying, uh, will direct schools, direct schools to Ask students or parents if they were part of a multi-family gatherings, and if they answer is yes, they'll need to go remote for 14 to 17 days and a test. Basically, they're saying um, they're gonna snitch. They want your kids to snitch you out. That's essentially that's essentially what this is. They want your kids to snitch your ass out. Maybe you aren't just worried about getting the virus. He wrote, you're young, healthy, you can work remotely, or you can just, uh, you don't think it's a big deal, but you never know if you're going to be the domino that leads to nursing home outbreaks or pushes an entire school to remote learning. First of all, nobody's pushing an entire school to remote learning other than you crackheads. Y'all are the one that just, it strikes fear in you when someone tests positive in cases, 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 cases. Enough of the dominoes put our healthcare facilities at risk. We've been hearing this talked about for fucking eight, what, nine months now, and it hasn't happened. Let me be clear about that. And I talked about this on Blaze TV. Virtually nowhere in fucking America, nowhere in America has someone that keep talking about, well, we're going to get overwhelmed. Nowhere in America has someone that needed the service gone without it. Now, it may have been a case where... Uh, a case or like three, right? Where someone had to go to another hospital for the sake of capacity. But that uh, that happens on off years as well, guys. Did you not know that? That in a lot of places that ICUs definitely around this time of year are 80, 90, 95%. If they weren't, they'd be broke. That's how they operate. Yet nowhere in the, they keep talking about what, well, they've been wrong, of course, every time. If this keeps going, the hospitals are going to be overwhelming and CNN will get some fucking piece of shit nurse to get on um, uh, uh, TV and tell them how fucking distraught they are. Meanwhile, they fucking doing the goddamn robot and shit on TikTok. They that busy pop locking and shit. It hasn't happened virtually anywhere in America where someone that needed the service went without it. Yet they're still fear mongering about this exhausting of hospital resources and people not being able to get what they need. That has not happened anywhere. And they've been predicting it for nine months. It hasn't happened anywhere. You remember in New York, the place that got hit the hardest, they bring this fucking naval ship, big ass ship, right? To try to house all these patients and they hardly ever use the motherfucker. They hardly ever used it. So the ship had to go away. That's where it got hit the hardest in the country. What are they talking about? Yet they still use that as like, if we don't do this, X and X, X and Y will be exhausted or will put too much stress on these. This hasn't happened anywhere. You did not get the apocalyptic virus that you so wanted. Look, hospitals, it's a business at the end of the day, right? It's a business at the end of the day. They already have like these emergency rollout sort of plans that they already have in place, right? They already do that. If your ass couldn't get ready in nine fucking months, why should everybody else suffer because of that? And that's what's pissed me off about this entire pandemic. 
is that we hold the country hostage for like a select amount of of uh, people in, in whatever like profession that they in. God forbid you're a damn gym owner or something like that. You don't fucking matter. You don't fucking matter. But it's like we got to make it easy on the fucking nurses. We got to make it easy on the doctors. Nigga, you signed up for this. And I'm not trying to be cruel. I'm just being for real. You signed up for that. Why does everybody else want well, think about the nurses that can't go home? Nigga, I never told you to stop people from being, aw- being able to work. They try to guilt trip you. They try to guilt trip you with that bullshit all the time. Like, well, I don't have the luxury of, 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 of staying home, right? I got to go. I have to go to work and tend to my patients. That's your job, man. You getting paid for it. If you couldn't handle the heat, get the fuck up out of there. Ain't nobody told you to be a nurse. Nobody told you to be a doctor. But we don't get the we don't hold the country hostage for you. You are one profession. Yes, gym owners are important. Yes, people that do fucking hair are important. People that work at these stores where their livelihoods depend on that, they're absolutely important. You don't hold the fucking country hostage for fucking healthcare workers, man. Or scientists. Fuck them. I don't want to say fuck them. And I'm not saying that you, what you do isn't valuable what you do is valuable right but what other people do is also valuable and we don't stop what we're doing just because a job that you signed up for may be stressed in the event that people catch this virus that's your job bro and if you don't want it fucking quit and i'm be i'm being dead serious about that quit but you don't get to hold the country hostage, bro. I'm so sick of this shit. And because we sit here and watch all of this propaganda, you can't even turn the TV on with they putting goddamn nurses and shit at the altar. Y'all not know how fucking triggered I was watching nurses sitting here fucking pop locking and, and dropping it and shit on the fucking TikTok, man. Meanwhile, we got to sit here and shut the fuck down and they sit here lecturing us about how y'all going to be stressed and y'all in this bitch doing dance routines and shit. Hospital down the street, both hospitals down the street, barren as a motherfucker early in the pandemic. Nobody's going in for other shit. Everybody's worried for COVID and you ain't even fucking full. And in the places that are, it's like, oh, well, shit, it's on par. Well, I don't know what the same that we had last week. Maybe a slight uptick in certain areas. Can you not roll out your emergency shit, man? And if you were not prepared, that's not my fault. That's not the gym owner's fault. That's not the uh, her, her, the person that works at the hair, hair salon's fault. The person that owns the music venue. That's not their fault. We don't hold the country hostage for you. And here we are where well, these motherfuckers want you to snitch. They use that as an excuse and they want your kids to snitch you out. Look, man, this goes further to prove that these damn institutions are nothing but indoctrination camps. Get your fucking kids out of these schools. Get them out. Get them out. And people say to me, well, it's easy for you to say because you don't have kids. You don't have kids. It's easy for you to say, uh, don't do that. If you think for once, when I do choose to have children, I would put them in the same institution next to your not head ass kids. You're sadly mistaken. There ain't a chance in hell. I will put my child through that abuse. Fuck no. Get them up out of there, man. And it's hilarious because like I said all over at Blaze TV on News and Why It Matters, this has been a golden opportunity to take a fucking hack at the public educational system. And you got crackheads like Phil Scott, these supposed conservatives and Republicans sitting here fucking talk, talk my snitch, snitch your damn snitch. You need to snitch, snitch on your family. So, of course, we just want to make sure you quarantine. I'm sure there'll be absolutely no other consequences. They just want to make sure that you you quarantine. There's going to be no other consequences for that. Get your kids out of these public uh, education doctrine, uh, indoctrination camps, 